NHI guy back here with another video for you guys and I am pleased to announce that I actually have a guest with me. This is Melissa Wheeler. Hi everybody. She's actually a teacher trainer here at National Holistic Institute, a graduate of National Holistic Institute. Um, the 20 years I hear, right Melissa? Mm -hmm. This Friday um, actually is 20 years for uh, Melissa teaching and she is also uh, AMTA's Teacher of the Year for 2010. So she will be helping me. I have great company to teach me basically some basics, um, teach you guys some basics rather about chair massage. A couple of things I want to say it would be um, notice that I have on a ring. I'm going to take that off and a long necklace. I'm going to take that off because you don't want that kind of stuff hitting or banging on the person you're giving massage to. Um, the other thing is about massage <laughs> is if you've tried to give massage and your fingers get tired after a few minutes, that's because you're use, only using your fingers. So one of the things that we stress here at the National Holistic Institute is body mechanics. I know you've talked to yes. this audience about body mechanics. If you haven't seen it already, the introductory NHI Guy video was all about body mechanics, so be sure to check that out on our channel. Yeah, because it'll make things so much easier for you. And the other big, big secret about giving massage that feels really good but isn't hard to give is to know a little bit about anatomy. If you know where you're headed, instead of just mushing around, it's really much easier. So I just want to take a moment to show where John and I, probably mostly John, will be working. Um, this is the back of the body. And up here are what's called the upper trapezius. And those are the, uh, that muscle, and underneath, that muscle is where you feel those knots. A lot of people have those knots. And this model doesn't show the muscles, but shows the bones that are underneath the shoulder blade called the scapula and up in here. And also, we'll do a little bit of work on the back, the upper back. And what I want to point out is don't push on the spine, but you can push on the sides of the spine. It's really yummy. One last rule. OK, I'm just going to review. No jewelry, please. Know a little bit about the anatomy where you're going to work. And always um, ask the person about pressure. Um, because you, it could be too hard and it could be too soft. So those are the things I just want you to consider. First of all, I'm just going to make contact with the person and kind of feel, oh, are there any knots or lumpy areas? And Alicia, you let me know if anything's uncomfortable, OK? I would last about five minutes if I just stood here like this, squeezing, oh, my fingers are getting tired. So what I'm going to do is back up a little bit. And then my hips and my legs that are strong are what can give the massage. First thing you want to do is do just some general warming. And then John, I'm going to let you get in here, do some general warming, and then along the line of the upper trapezius and onto her deltoids, just right. squeezing deltoids, okay? And I'm just going to take a look at how John's doing. So far, so good. You'll notice that his, he's not standing still. He's using movement so that the massage is easier to give. How does it feel, Alicia? Great. Yeah, good. All right, so what's next, Melissa, after, assuming we've done this for a long yeah, time? Yeah, so you've done that for a while. Um, we don't like people to use their thumbs a lot, but now that he's softened up that area, why don't you do some points straight down with your thumbs, and you then, everyone, you want to stay on the muscly, bulky area. You don't want to feel a lot of bone. You might use bone as a guide, but you don't want to push hard down on bone. And that point work can feel so yummy. All right. And do we just work our way out, or do we come back towards the middle? Or? Work your way out. And then you hit boom. So now we're going to move to kind of a different area. And that would be, I'll show on the skeleton, that would be between the shoulder blade, the scapula, and the spine. This area in here is where people usually have a lot of tension. Um, so I'm going to ask John, and he knows, of course, how to do that. Just work in that area. He'll probably make some circles with the 
heel of his hand, maybe with his fingers, in that area. And remember I said not to work on bone? <laughs> I'm going to um, ignore that for me. Because a lot of times people don't know that on top of the shoulder blade itself is muscle. And those muscles get very, very tired from being overstretched, working on the computer, driving. A lot of times we're like this. So John's going to work in this area here, not on top of the spine, but between the spine and the shoulder blades, and then move on to right on top of the shoulder blade. It can feel really good. You know what your friends and family will say when you work on them? How did you know it was sore there? Because you know a little bit about anatomy. That's how you know. Okay? How's that feeling, John? You're doing a great job. You feel like you're... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely so a lot. Come you'll, on. you'll see that John's going to work on that shoulder blade. He didn't just stand to the back and work this way. He moved his body so he could work along the line of the direction that he's working. I think that makes sense. So you want to move your body around. You don't want to stand static. All right. What can we do next? Well, there's so many things to do. One thing, a lot of people, because they work a lot on computers, at desks and stuff, this area is very sore. Um, but something that people forget, and I'll just show this, um, if I can have your hand, Alicia, is to work on the hand. So you just want to open up this part of the hand that gets kind of up. So I'm just going to warm, 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 and then I'm going to turn around and try to smooth out the palm of Alicia's hand. That is a really yummy thing. Yeah, and definitely. we just showed a quick version of this. Um, you can spend 10 or 15 minutes doing what John just did in a couple of minutes because there's never too much. People want more and more and more. Exactly. Okay. Well, thanks so much, Melissa, for all your help. Oh, you're um, so welcome. I hope you guys found this video informative and helpful. Um, understand that, again, this is just tip of the iceberg, if you would. There's so much more to learn. Um, and also remember that at National Holistic Institute, we have a lot of events where you can come and check us out, such as open houses. Actually, right across the class, uh, the hallway right now, there's a sampler class that's going on as well, where people are actually seeing what it's like to give shiatsu massage, for example. Um, so. Keep posted to our channel. Also visit us online, um, our website at uh, nhi.edu, and uh, you could definitely contact us and learn more about having having work you love, right, Melissa? Yes. Thanks so much again. You're welcome. Such a pleasure. It was so much fun. All Thanks. right, NHI guys, signing off. See you guys next time.